Hey guys, welcome back. Very, very exciting day today. You know when and the video is like set up like this, like it's just us sitting, talking, there's, there's news. Something's going down. <laughs> and we are so excited and so grateful and stoked to share this exciting news with you guys. So as you guys can probably see, we're in a different space right now. And our announcement and our update is that we're moving kind of. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> so this has actually been a little secret we've been keeping for a while. We're in our new place in Lake Tahoe. <laughs> so freaking cool. Literally surreal. And very full circle moment for us. But yeah, so kind of is because we are going to be splitting time between here and California. Mm -hmm. As you guys know, Delaney is from this area, very nearby, and our families are close as well. Yes, so I grew up in Reno. Obviously, that's like basically the same as Tahoe, and I like came to the lake all the time growing up, and then Clayton is from the Bay Area, and he actually grew up coming to Lake Tahoe yeah. as well. Yeah, we didn't know each other. We obviously. didn't like cross paths Bummer. then, um, yeah. but we did both go to school in Reno. That's where we met. If you guys don't know like a little bit more about our love story, yeah. we met in college, so this area is so special to both of us for like so many different reasons, yeah. but also some shared reasons. For sure, it feels like home to us. Um, my mom has stories of us vacationing up here when I was just a little baby toddler, yeah. newborn. Yeah. And also, if you guys remember during the 2020 years, 2021 years, we were staying at my parents' place up in this area as well yes. in Truckee. So they no longer have that place, but we've spent so much time so up here time. together yeah. between college and all the uh, vacations yeah. going to that house. Yeah. So I remember the first time in college, like I went to your parents' house in Truckee and yeah. I just thought it was like so cool. Was, and yeah, we That was the we first spent... time you met them too. Yeah, it was that, that no, 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 no. I went to their house before they were there. Remember? But you, we oh with, yeah, like, before, but you did meet them. At their house. At their yeah, house. that was yeah. the first time yeah. I met them. Yeah. But yeah, we have just like shared so many memories here. We both love it so much. Like, we spent so much time at your parents' place. We kind of used to like live there a yeah. little bit, I feel like. Like, we would do you're... little two week stints. Yeah, like, you know, we loved weeks. it so much. Yeah. Obviously, both like growing up with some relation to this, me more so like always like, uh, what would you call that? This like was. for me, like literally growing up here and Clayton growing up going here, I think for both of us in our hearts, we feel so connected to like the mountains yeah. and the energy and just the the vibes here. Like we're really connected to that. So being up here and around that is just so special and yeah. important to both of us. So that is, you know, part of the reason why this is so near and dear to our yeah. hearts. And then, like Clayton was saying, it's closer to both of our families, which is really important. If you guys like follow on other things or know, I'm super close to my grandparents and I love spending time with them. And it's been so awesome to be able to like see them yeah. more, being up here and be there for them. And there's been hard times in my family in recent years. And it's really important to both of us that we can be around and help in any ways that we can. Yeah. That was, that's been a little bit of a catalyst for us to make this decision to, uh, you know, split time up here is to be closer to family. Um, my family's near now as well. So yeah. It's uh, very important to us in yeah. this time of our lives. And your family loves the area too. Like your parents actually had their honeymoon in Lake Tahoe. Yeah, they did. So it's yeah. just like such a great place for both of us individually but also together and for both of our families yeah. so it has so much meaning to us and i'm just like so yeah so happy no we're ecstatic and it just makes so much sense like when we get here when we get to this region it always feels like home so yeah. it's nice to now have a place to call home right up here as well but we still love our life in california um of course. we love our friends there we love our community it's a great place for our work and we also love like the energy and everything there so we are having the best of both worlds in yeah. that way which we are so incredibly so. grateful for like we just can't even believe that it's real still yeah, yeah. 
Also, something that we wanted to share with you guys about this, if you followed along for a long time or know like my vibe and stuff, I'm super into manifesting and all that energy and I honestly have been for my entire life. I've read so many books on it, I've listened to so many podcasts or YouTube videos, all these things and I've been practicing manifesting for so long. I write in my manifesting journal every single day. I've gotten Clayton on board yep. with that um, little daily ritual. Yep. I have gotten him into the manifesting books yep. and like we're both super into it. And this experience is so surreal and amazing because we have worked on manifesting this for so long. Yep. We have, it's funny. We used to go on walks actually. I think it was back when we would stay at my parents' house. Yes. Because we loved my parents' house, but it also wasn't our style or our And it taste. wasn't our house. It like wasn't our we, house. We dreamed of like decorating yeah. it or how we would decorate a place right. in the mountains. Like. Right. So we would walk around and we would go on walks and we would just talk about, oh, one day it would be so cool to have a place up here. And we even like talked about little details, like what kind of couch we'd have or what kind of floors we would have. Like, yeah. And that's actually really important in manifesting, getting more specific. And, mm -hmm those walks we would go on them and just you know talk and dream up our yeah. our house and we would call them manifest walks yeah. and i don't know we've just been like manifesting this and dreaming of this and believing in ourselves to do this for so yeah, long for sure and it's it's just incredible that it's come true in our lives yeah and actually <clears throat> i heard the kid Leroy the other night say that everything that's happened in his life he's manifested. manifested yeah so you hear so many people say that and that i think just kind of proves the power of positive thinking and and manifesting what you want so you have to be really in tune with what you want mm -hmm. and don't be afraid to talk about it mm -hmm. or write about it or believe in it yeah definitely believe in it so yeah. it's cool so um, yeah, and Delaney is just, I'm so proud of you and everything that you do and you work so hard and we, you know, all of this is due to hard work Aww. and dedication and <laughs> I'm just so proud of you. Oh, I'm proud of you too. I could not do everything that, I mean, we're a team, like yeah. everything that we're able to accomplish is because we're a team and we work really hard yeah. and we work together but also like we just wanted to touch on the manifesting bit with you guys because that is something that we are firm believers in and yeah. like I am so grateful for manifesting and that mindset and the ability to achieve your dreams through things yeah. like that so if you guys want to know more about manifesting we could talk more about that but I don't know I, I know everybody has like different beliefs and feelings about things like that so maybe for some people it's like i don't i don't believe in that at all but i seriously live my life by like yeah. by that so i have to share it there's tons of great books on it too as a place to start so. yes definitely yeah. okay so also another exciting kind of part of this for us is this was a remodel project yes. so we have been keeping that a secret we've been working on it for much longer than we Way would like to admit. The remodel nightmares <laughs> that people tell you about are true. So true. <laughs> um, but it has also been a dream of ours for so long to be able to make a place our own like this um, in terms of just picking out how we want things to look and piecing them together. We're, I am like really into interior design right? No, interior decor. Decorating. Yeah. yeah, I really like decorating. I think design is cool too and I'm a little bit into it, but I'm definitely more into interior decorating. Yeah. So we did work with a designer on this project to kind of help us, you know, guide us. Get our gears turning, you know, and yes. figuring out what we could do with the space. Yeah, so we worked collaboratively because we are very specific about the things that we like and we do have a lot of opinions on decor and style and taste and all those things. So it's actually a girl that I grew up knowing in the area. Her name is Chloe and she's incredible. Yeah, her, 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 her firm or uh, what do we call it? Design. Yeah, it's firm. She also has a, a store. Yeah. Um, it's called Boxwood Avenue. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, she was great help and definitely got us going in the right direction. And yes. it was a great collaborative process, like when you said, because we are pretty specific and uh, we do like to be really involved. So, yeah. it was a, a nice process. Yeah. Like a lot of things, I would say, like things that helped us for that, even just bringing our ideas to the table and having a design team 
kind of validate or tweak or vet them and be yeah, like, yeah what what was good or yeah. like what needed to be changed gave me a lot of peace of mind because some of the ideas that i have are sometimes a little crazy and then i'm like oh if i like go through with all this and do this is it actually gonna look good so i think having that like reassurance was really nice um and For also sure. just having them help with things like paint color i was so overwhelmed yeah. by paint colors and we went back and forth on paint colors and yes we found the right one we think it turned out pretty nice but yes and even is, like vendors like figuring yeah. out you know where to get our tile from or yeah. where to get our um countertops from things yeah. like that or even like where to get a contractor we were having a hard time yes. finding that so i feel like that was so helpful and we're so grateful to them we'll definitely share more obviously about the process in future videos yeah. but shout out to boxwood for helping us along for the sure. way it was in the remodel was fun i mean it it, it came with it was, uh, it was a little painful but that is what these processes are mm -hmm. so um, it took a lot longer than we anticipated, yes. but we're so happy that we're finally in it now and we get to experience it and decorate and yes. show you guys everything that we've been working on. So yes. very exciting. And we kind of decided to share it in this way where we weren't sharing the process in real time because first of all, we weren't up here all the time. And second of all, we knew that remodels are supposed to take a really long time on, yeah. and the schedules are you know get out of hand and just get, slip away from you and we felt a little overwhelmed on sharing that um in a organized way yeah. i guess with you guys so we decided to just try to finish it out and then share yeah. it once it was done yeah so uh upcoming videos gonna have decorating vlogs for sure so yes. we've been uh, moving in for a little while and been vlogging that so we'll share that and uh, I'm gonna be shopping thrifting doing all sorts of stuff like that but also we're going to do a before and after video that yes. you guys so you guys can really see the transformation and it's the crazy. transformation is incredible but honestly like paint does wonderful things yes like just get yourself some paint and <laughs> Yes. some balls yes. but no we, we touched most of the surfaces and it just looks beautiful yeah no the before and afters are crazy i cannot believe it still when i'm in this place like what it used to look like we are so happy with it yeah. like we cannot shut up about it when we're just in here together like yeah. we are so freaking excited yeah. and happy and grateful and we're really excited to share this new chapter and this journey with you guys. And we are so appreciative for you guys following along on our journey, being there from the beginning or whatever part of our journey you um, stumbled on upon. Yeah. And we're just, we're really excited yeah, about this. Very excited and just super grateful. So yes. thank you guys so much for all your support over the years. And we're just so grateful for this yes. opportunity to have this life up here with our family. So yes. it's gonna be great. Yes, we're super excited. Lots of good things to come. Yeah, this is this year is crazy for us. We're yes. so we're so excited. Like Yes, we're very busy. Yeah. <laughs> We've been very busy. So yes. yeah. Just a little bit more time and you'll be my wife. <laughs> I'm so excited for that yeah. too. Okay guys. <laughs> thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Love you guys. So excited yes. for this. Till next time. Come along with us.